Austin's paramedics ready to quit. Blunt comments from a recent internal survey obtained by KXAN, like the morale and protocols keep declining. Management is bailing water out of a sinking ship, and no change ever comes. Same old, same old. Now, KXAN investigators have learned some long-awaited action steps are already underway, and that could mean a more alert crew responding to your call during your family's next emergency. Our Robert Maxwell has been digging into this since the beginning of the year, and he joins us tonight with an exclusive look at the plan. Right, and EMS bosses tell me they want only the most rested, healthy medics behind the wheel of our city ambulances. The main change, paramedics will work shorter weeks with time to recharge. Starting later this fall, those who now work a 24-hour shift with two days off in between will gain a third day off. That's supposed to give them a full 72 hours to balance family time and recover what can often be a tough day. A siren can be the sound of a life being saved. And we count on our paramedics to be attentive and engaged. But those doing the saving might be putting their own lives on the line. Like in Austin, two paramedics committed suicide in recent years. Others have simply quit. Those who remain could work consecutive 12-hour shifts or 24-hour shifts with little rest and are calling in sick at an alarming rate. The loading device that staff there. shortage means Austin Travis County EMS Chief Ernie Rodriguez has had to issue mandatory overtime to make sure an ambulance still comes quickly when you call. Most organizations like us will create a 24-hour shift, they'll put staff on there, and then they'll just let it run. They never look back. And uh, I can tell you, we've been guilty of that, too. And Rodriguez says during a long shift, some paramedics find they can only grab a few minutes to rest between calls. National studies reveal fatigue on the job not only increases risk on the road, but can also mean less attention to patient care. Good evening, Brackenridge. This is Mech 13. And so along with the new plan for shorter work weeks, local EMS now tracks medic workload in real time. If a paramedic's going nonstop, a supervisor's supposed to call and ask if they've taken a break. We really do want our employees to have the confidence to be able to say, you know what, I'm just too tired. I've, I've had it. I need a break. And for them to feel comfortable calling their commander and saying, okay, I'm punching out for a little while. Okay. So is this the, the final fix for Austin Travis County? I really hope so. And right now, paramedic staffing is also down because of about 45 vacancies. But this is an agency that has to expand at some point. Our city's growing. Help could be right around the quarter. City Council will soon receive a request to add 53 new paramedic positions this year. But Chief Rodriguez admits it will take a good two full years to get up to full staffing. Robert Maxwell, KXAN, investigates. All of these changes come months after EMS received a new consultant's report in November. Among the recommendations, putting more paramedics on shorter shifts in busy parts of town to help cut last-minute overtime. It becomes what can we effectively change. And so the talking points are great. I think the sincerity is there. All those things will be fantastic. But we'll see. That comes straight from the EMS Association president, who clearly takes public safety very seriously. And so does our investigative team. In recent months, Robert Maxwell has taken a hard look at pool dangers, lake pollution, and flood preparedness, all to protect you and your family. If you have something you want us to investigate, email us at reportit at kxan.com.